you plan on staying in the area when you're all done? Well, that's the thing. I, I really do want to stay in the area, which is, you know, funny because everyone I know wants to get the hell out. Why do you want to leave? I don't know, because there's no one up here, it feels like. I really like Bangor just because it's it's still a city, but it's small enough where you can, like, walk down the street and people, you know, you know people, and if you smile at someone, they don't think that you're going to mug them. <laughs> And this is very important to me in a place that I live. <laughs> Where are you thinking about moving? Maybe Mexico. I think it would be cool to live in a city where you can do more and, you know, just have more experiences and more people and more diversity, cultures and things like that. So that's why I'm looking forward to moving. But I mean, it's really too bad because I think if Bangor had more to offer, I think I might stay here. No, I think there's a lot of promise up here. I think there's a lot of promise anywhere. There's all the same stuff everywhere. Just, yeah, got to be able to see it. I mean, you want to go to a place that has, like, a ton of music venues, a ton of movie theaters. Why do you need so many movie theaters? Why do you need so many music venues? I mean, there is a lot to do here, and I shouldn't complain, because I'm from the county, so <laughs> there's even less to do up there, but... You can still carve out your own niche here. You can make your own music venue, right? Right. I mean, you go to a place like Austin or, or LA or New York, you're just some other guy starting a club. There's nothing special about it. You can be special here. We're like an hour from the ocean, an hour from, you know, Mount Katahdin. I mean, there's so much just around us in this area that, you know, it's a lot to do. And yeah, like I could definitely see myself coming back here. Yeah, I kind of I kind of plan on staying here and settling down here, hopefully. Part of me wants to be Jimmy Stewart and it's a wonderful life, you know, and to give it all up for that girl next door, you know. Well, you can do something for people here. Whatever you start might help out the next guy. Yeah. Like someone that's 10 years younger than you right now, like who would like to stay in Maine, but yeah. you know, they get to be our age and wonder what the hell they're gonna do here, you know? Yeah, I really like to volunteer. Um, I went to Peru before on a medical, really? medical missionary trip, and I would love to do that again, just be able to get down there and. It was so, you know, heartwarming to have such an impact on people. So I'd love to be able to get involved here in Bangor, you know, and do things to help improve the community and improve, you know, the people in the community. So it's something I would definitely want to do. So do you think that people around here would actually be interested in, I don't know, it's like whenever I talk to people, it's like they complain about nothing to do, but then again, they don't really do anything about it either. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think if you are complaining about nothing to do around here, you yeah. just got to get out and do something, meet yeah. people. And, I mean, there's plenty to do here. Um, you know, you just got to get involved. I mean, you're thinking about going someplace else, but it doesn't really sound like you know what you would be doing there or what you want to be doing. Maybe you just want to leave because uh, you think the only way you're going to find a girl that's right for you is to go someplace else. Maybe it doesn't have so much to do with all these other things we're talking about. Maybe it's all about the girl, your inspiration. Well, I want things to change. The first thing that's got to change is me. I can't wait for someone else to save me. I have to be the hero of my own life. Pretty interesting image. Hi, I'm Wally Mason, I'm the director of the museum. This is uh, an image from an exhibition called Young to Remember. Uh, there are photographs by Linda Butler. The premise of the exhibition is, is uh, Linda Butler visited China a number of times to document the Yangtze River, which was being reconfigured because of the Three Gorges Dam project. Photographers like that idea of going in and freezing change uh, forever. Well, it's like everybody wants change, but then they're also scared of change at the same time. And that transition period from deciding to do something to starting to doing something, and then you're questioning, should I really be doing this? Right, right. And so this captures all that. It is fascinating to, to see the change, and you know, if you think about Bangor uh, 120 years ago, what it was like, what it is today, and how, how it's evolved. 
I think you see that in a much more compressed fashion here where uh, you know, these communities may go back two or three hundred years and suddenly they're being forced over a very short period of time to completely change and renew themselves. You know, we as, we as humans always want to change something to our own, uh, our own image. I love that idea of freezing a moment. You know, there's something very appealing about that. that most people pick up a camera because they want to. I mean, in a sense, it's, it, one could say you're creating death in that you're stopping time, and that's very appealing to, to, to most people. Well, are you creating death or are you defying death? The French uh, filmmakers, they would talk about film is mummification. It's like the Egyptians mummifying the bodies. Mm -hmm. You take a picture of someone when they're young and beautiful and they're always young and That's beautiful, right. that memory of them. That's right. I look at her and have to look away, speechless. Before anything begins, I assume it will fail. Beauty steals my breath, my soul, myself away. I'm left naked. Admiration, then loss, and rejection without a word being said. I need to stop being such a coward.